All right, so in a previous video, I had shown you the sinus arrest. And the sinus arrest has a tendency to be um, put in the same terminology as a sinus pause. People say it's sinus arrest, sinus pause being the same thing. Again, it depends on who or what you are reading from that. So just to kind of come back in here and take a look at some things, let me move our, our calipers in here, okay? So right off the bat, if you have not watched the video on sinus arrest, you need to go watch that before this one because I'm not going to go and break down every aspect of it. We're just going to break down what I have found in some of the books and literature as it relates to a sinus rest versus a sinus pause versus a sinus exit block, okay? So a sinus arrest, if you look here, the calipers are actually marked on a P2P. And when we move things down from that P2P, I'll mark where a P wave should be. Okay, now let me make that into a blue color. A little easier to read. We're going to move this down. And when we move this down, we notice that there is a, another area. So there would have been two. And we bring this down, and here is three. So in a sinus arrest, and what I don't believe I put in the video um, for a sinus arrest, was talking about this part here because this is where the controversy is. Sinus arrest usually means that if that pause or that asystole, that pause or that asystole area, is more than three cardiac cycles, then that is going to be an arrest, okay? So that sinus arrest, we're saying that that period of asystole or that pause, if you call it, is greater than three cycles. So where did that P wave, where was it supposed to be? Now, a sinus pause, on the other hand, we're going to line our calipers up here. And we'll move this down. And again, we're going to mark We'll mark again. There you see there's two. And everything starts back up again. So in this case, this is what would be referred to by some as a sinus pause. And a sinus pause means that that pause or that period of asystole is less than three cycles. Okay, so this would be a sinus pause. Now the last one is going to be a sinus exit block. Now a sinus exit block means that there has been some form of a problem with that sinus node again. But what has happened is now we see where the P wave should be. And now when we line it up, it falls right back into an alignment. So that's why this becomes a sinus exit block. Okay, so a sinus exit block means that Essentially, we have a compensatory pause. Compensatory pause. Means it runs right back in. So it runs back to where it should. 
And that's it. So there are folks that will say that this is the only one, that the sinus pause actually corresponds with it, um, and that there may be a difference here with the sinus exit block. Again, it's going to depend on who you read, um, but it does get down to uh, right now, at least for the things that I have found in, in some of the textbooks, is that they get into the cycles, and uh, some of the literature is actually breaking out what's happened with the sinus arrest versus the sinus pause, and this is also coming back into when people may be getting EP studies. So hopefully that, uh, you know, gives you at least a little bit of a background as to what is currently out there. Again, go back and take a look at your patient. That's going to be the most important thing and um, treat them as they need to be. And hopefully this has helped you out some. We'll see you soon.